Hello and good morning. Um, I feel like I'm just like always filming in my car now ever since my last vlog. Um, but today I'm gonna head over to Trader Joe's. Uh, I have a lot of things that I'm gonna get so I just figured I'm gonna turn this into a grocery haul and show you guys some of the Trader Joe's staples that I get, especially considering the fact that I am a pescatarian who tries to be as dairy free as possible and Matthew loves to eat meat. So, I'm gonna take you guys along with me. Okay, so I like don't even know where to start because I got way more food than I thought I was gonna get. Um, it's been a very long time since I've done a Trader Joe's haul and I did the worst thing possible and I went to the market while I was hungry. So yeah, I got a lot of stuff. Um, okay. So a lot of these things are staples that I always get from Trader Joe's and a lot of stuff I just randomly bought because again, I'm to the market hungry. So I guess I'll start off with the proteins that I get. Okay, so for me, I'm like messing with my hair too much. Ugh. Okay, I get extra firm tofu. Uh, this isn't something that I always get from Trader Joe's. I'm not like picky about where I get my tofu from, but I get the extra from tofu. I get myself salmon. I like the barbecue cut Atlantic salmon. I don't like the sockeye salmon. I always like the Atlantic salmon. I don't know. I just prefer it. And for some reason, Trader Joe's salmon to me is always so fresh and it's so much better than pretty much anywhere else that I bought salmon. So Definitely, I get a lot of salmon. I got two things of salmon because I will freeze it and defrost it when I'm ready to cook it. And then I also got two containers of the all natural chicken breast. It's the boneless, skinless, thinly sliced chicken breast for Matthew. Um, chicken's a really easy thing that I can make for him. So I always get the one that is already thinly sliced so I don't have to do any extra preparation. I get kind of grossed out when I'm handling chicken. So yeah, I want as much preparation already done as possible. So I get a lot of frozen items from Trader Joe's. I feel like that is where Trader Joe's, like that's their strong suit is their frozen items. They're just really good. Uh, get down, get down. Cats. Um, okay, so I get the, two bags of the mandarin orange chicken. Matthew loves orange chicken. Um, this is like something so easy to make on nights that I don't really want to do a full on preparation type of dinner. So I get these and then I also get, so I normally get the vegetable fried rice from Trader Joe's, but I didn't find it this time. So I got the Japanese style fried rice with edamame, tofu, and seaweed. Um, this one, I've never tried this one, but I will normally make orange chicken and fried rice. And I usually get the veggie one because I can eat that one also. And I will also do the fried rice with the Kung Pao chicken. So these are really easy things that I can put together when I'm, again, not wanting to make something super, you know, extreme. They're easy things to do. Easy things to make? Yeah, easy things to make. Also with the frozen, I get the Thai vegetable gyoza, gyoza? I don't know, but I always get these. I love these, I think they're so good. I put them, um, 
in the pan and I'll kind of put them with like a little bit of like sesame oil. They're really good. These, I also bought the tempura cauliflower. They're Kung Pao tempura cauliflower. Never tried these. I'm pretty excited to try them. So yeah, I think they'll be good. They look like they're gonna be good. I also get the cauliflower gnocchi and the regular frozen gnocchi. Um, I like the cauliflower one. The regular one I'll put for Matthew. Uh, yeah, so these are pretty good. I'll just put them with some sauce and super easy little side to have when I make Italian food. So these are good. Okay, so the last of the frozen items that I get is the fire roasted bell pepper and onions. I use this as a like fajita mix. Normally I cut my own bell peppers and onions. This is kind of for my lazy days and it tastes good. It doesn't taste like a weird frozen frostbite type flavor. So yeah, these I'll mix like with some of the chicken or I'll put with tofu or just like on their own as a side. So these are really good to get also. Oh no, this is the last thing from Frozen. These are the cauliflower and broccoli vegetable patties. I've never had these. My sister gets these and she says that they're so good. She said that she'll cook them for breakfast and put an egg on top, so I'm gonna try that out. Okay, on to dairy items. I get non-fat plain Greek yogurt. This is something that whenever I go to the market and I'm out of it, I get it. I like to mix this with like the ranch seasoning packets or just like different uh, like dip packets. So it's an alternative for me instead of sour cream because Greek yogurt is just better for you. It has probiotics in it and tastes exactly the same. Next is plain cottage cheese. I am a cottage cheese person. Big time, I love cottage cheese. I like to have it as a little snack. Pretty good. And eggs. I normally try to always get my eggs from the egg farm by where my sister lives in Ontario. And these ones are pretty good too. They're the Chino Valley ones. They're just like pasture raised organic eggs. So. I just picked them up this time because we're out and not gonna go all the way to the farm today, so eggs. Oh, for my proteins, I forgot that I also get tuna. I get the albacore white tuna in water. Um, I like the Trader Joe's one, and I also like to get the Wild Planet ones. I love tuna, I've always been a tuna person. Yeah, so this is another protein that I get for myself. Okay, I guess, since all the lettuce is in front of me, that's what I'll do. I get the organic baby spinach. I am not a person to like, I am not a person that likes spinach raw. I like pan seared spinach. I like spinach mixed with eggs. I like spinach mixed in with tofu. So that's why I get spinach. I also got some romaine hearts and some butter lettuce. I like to mix these two when I make a salad and I'll put some, where are they at? Where are they at? Oh, sun dried tomatoes in my salads. Such a great addition to some great lettuce. I also picked up a little uh, packet of cilantro. I love cilantro. I will chop it up and put it in almost everything. I put it on, I make like a cilantro lime salmon. I put it in my salads. I love it. It's very good. Next, I guess I'll just stick with veggies. Uh, so I got some organic zucchini squash. I wanna make, for dinner this coming week, I wanna make like a zucchini squash and like onion and uh, like sausage. I have some Beyond sausages, so I'm gonna cut, cut up some of those and put them in, kind of make like, like a medley, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, so zucchini squash. Then, Then I got some organic tomatoes and some bell peppers. Bell peppers, again, are to cut up, or sometimes I'll even just have bell peppers with hummus. And then tomatoes, normal tomatoes. 
I got some raspberries. Matthew has been on a big raspberry kick lately. He, every time we go to the store or like even when he's on his way home from work, he's been picking up raspberries and he'll eat a container like this in two days. So these are for him. Some grapes. I love the what is it, like purple red grapes or red, it says red. Um, I've been craving some grapes and the other day I picked up the, the protein box from Starbucks with like the egg and cheese and I ate the grapes and I had been craving grapes so picked up a big one to satisfy that craving even more. Some nanners, we're big banana people, always got to have some on hand. Some avocados. I am one of those people that I'm crazy about avocados. We actually have an avocado tree outside, but as of now, it stopped giving avocados, so I gotta start buying them again. Two onions. I used to hate onion. Now I am like weirdly obsessed with onions, especially red onion. I will literally just have a salad that is mixed with cucumber, red onion, and tomato and put some olive oil and I think it's delicious. And a white onion. Last of the veggies is asparagus. I, we love asparagus. I will put it in the oven with some olive oil and garlic salt. Mmm, so good. Mmm, okay. This is my favorite pasta. It is the organic pasta vegetable radiator. Vegetable radiator organic pasta. This pasta is so good. I will boil this pasta and I like to have it as a cold pasta. So I'll just put like a salad dressing on top of it. And it's so good. I love this pasta. So I got two bags of this. Next, I picked up the Cauliflower Thins. It says it is a delicious and versatile bread substitute. I've never had this before, but I don't know. I try to not have too much bread. Um, it's 60% cauliflower, it's gluten-free. So I'm gonna try this out. Next, I got some pre-made stuff. I got two pre-made salads and a pre-made noodle bowl. I got the baked falafel salad palette. I love falafel and this is like a lot of things that I really love. I love feta cheese. It has a yogurt based hummus dressing, quinoa. So this will probably, probably be pretty good. So I picked this up and I also picked up the roasted butternut squash, red quinoa and wheat berry salad. This is Another salad that I have never tried, but Trader Joe's usually is really good with their pre-made salads. So this is an easy thing for me to have when I don't, again, want to do too much cooking. And the noodle bowl is the peanut udon noodle salad. I love peanut sauce. So this is another thing I haven't tried. It will be new. Looking forward to it. Also picked up the avocados number guacamole to go I even though I get um, avocados I won't really make guacamole out of avocados I use avocados like I'll just eat them whole, or I'll put them on top of toast so uh, I like to get the pre-made guacamole and then most of the times I'll add in like salsa or something into it to add some spice cuz I love my spice so some of these I also got some Peanut butter. I get the salted peanut butter from Unbleached Peanuts. I'm a big peanut butter person. My guilty pleasure is to put peanut butter on top of Ritz crackers at night, and that's like my evening snack. It's so good, but had to re-up on the peanut butter. Then I picked up some Kalamata olives. Uh, I don't know if you guys, I don't think I've ever mentioned it. Um, my mom is Greek. I am half Greek and I grew up eating, like literally we would go to the park and stuff and we were always having like pita bread with some feta cheese, kalamata olives and some salami inside or like with hummus and that was like something like as kids in our strollers we'd always be like chomping on so I'm a big kalamata olive person. 
Also, I picked up the eggplant garlic spread with sweet red peppers. I've had this before and I haven't purchased it in a while, so I'm excited because this stuff is really good. I really liked it the last time that I picked it up, so I know I'm gonna enjoy it again. I don't think Matthew's ever had it. Next, next is the Rustico, Rusticho uh, Pomodoro Pasta Sauce. This is a really good pasta sauce. It doesn't have an insane amount of sugar in it, which is why I like it a lot. Um, yeah, it's a good one. Next is like, <gasps> this sauce is amazing. It is the Carolina Gold Barbecue Sauce. Uh, we just finished a bottle of this, so I had to get another one. But I had purchased this for the first time like a couple months ago and oh my god, I can put this on, oh the cats are messing with my leg. <laughs> um, I can put this on everything and it will just make anything taste amazing. It is so freaking good, delicious. Okay, my two favorite dressings, the green goddess salad dressing and then the carrot ginger miso dressing. These two are dressings that I will put on top of that uh, radiator vegetable pasta that I talked about. So these are really good. Uh, I'll just use them for a salad. I'll even put them on top of tuna. They're pretty good salad dressings. I picked up some olive oil, basic pantry staple. Now I went a little crazy with the hummus today. I got, well, just sauces in general. So I got the chunky olive hummus. I got the organic buffalo style hummus. I got the vegan ranch dip. And I got the vegan kale, cashew, and basil pesto. I like to make homemade pizza, so I thought that this pesto would be something good to put on top of the pizza or to mix with the cauliflower gnocchi that I got. And then the vegan ranch dip. I love ranch. Um, if I can find a dairy-free substitute, I will. So that's why I picked up this one. Um, the buffalo style hummus. I love hummus and I love anything spicy. So this sounded very appealing to me. And then again, my olive obsession, olive hummus. Okay, these, oh, I actually have a few more things. I got the cold brew coffee concentrate. I don't, I don't know why there's something about having coffee, like cold coffee, iced coffee at home, it's just never as good as like going out and getting a cold brew coffee, but I don't know, it's cheaper, so I'll do it. Um, it is the regular one. There's another one that's like the French roast one. I got this one. Um, I've had it before. It's decent, but I still prefer Starbucks. And then I also picked up these like little mini organic cold brew coffees. They're the nitro ones. These are good, but they it adds up when you get a lot of these. So I got three of these just to try as like, to have as like a fancy coffee treat. And the last two things. These are things that I did not need to buy, but they looked really good. And I always see these on people's lists from like Pinterest and stuff of things that they always buy. So I got the Mayer Lemon Cookie Thins. I love lemon flavor. And I got the Cookie Butter Sandwich Cookies. I never had the Trader Joe's Cookie Butter, and I know everybody raves about how amazing it is, but I figured I don't think we'll use like an entire jar of cookie butter very often, so I thought I'd get these and try these out. So yeah, that is everything that I got at Trader Joe's today. That's my entire haul. It was a pretty big haul, as you can see, um, but yeah, I'm glad that I was able to actually go today and re-up on everything. I haven't been in so long, and if you guys are Trader Joe's people, please comment below your favorite things that you get to let me know. And thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Bye!